Hey everyone, it's Jared with TotemTitan.com coming at you today with one of my favorite at-home cardio workouts. Now this one's awesome. It only takes about 30 minutes to do. We're going to come at you with a ton of reps, a ton of sets. It's kind of a drop rep format, meaning with each subsequent set, we're going to do fewer and fewer reps until either we run out of reps or we run out of gas. I guess that's up to you to decide. So grab your towel, grab your water bottle, and let's get to work. All right, here we go. I've elected to jump over to a voiceover on this one because I'm not going to lie. Every time I do it, I get pretty gassed. I don't think that I could talk you guys through this one at the same time I'm trying to do it. Let's get started. We're going to hit hit it first with some jumping jacks, okay? You're going to get 50 of them in. Again, kind of a drop rep format on this one. We're going to do 50 jumping jacks. We're going to follow that up with 50 crunches and then back into 45 jumping jacks and then some other exercises too. Really, we're doing about six exercises with this workout we're just getting in a ton of reps and a ton of sets so like I said let's get started with 50 jumping jacks this is a great way to get the heart rate up uses just a ton of muscles probably one of my favorite at home cardio exercises using a ton of upper body using a ton of lower body it's a uh, it's plyometric it's a little bit more of a ballistic type workout it gets the heart rate up in a hurry okay so again we're gonna start with 50 of these jumping jacks Good work, good work, looks just like that. Okay, and now you're gonna lay down on your back, you're gonna follow that up with 50 crunches. And so, again, the idea here is that we're interspersing, we're doing kind of these cardio exercises, interspersed with kind of some strength training exercises. We're getting some good cardio work in, but then we're also working on some muscle tone, some muscle strength as well. It's just a great way to burn through a ton of calories, just as many as possible, and, and not a lot of time with this workout. So for the crunches, what I like to do, you can see, um, you know, laying on my back here, reaching towards my knees, so my hands kind of start on my thighs, and then what you're gonna do is engage your core to lift your shoulder blades up off of the floor as you slide your fingertips up towards your kneecaps. The focus here is on that rectus abdominis, specifically the upper abs. It's that six pack muscle that runs right down the middle. It goes from basically the bottom of your sternum to the top of your pelvis. It's responsible for that trunk flexion motion that you see me going through. That's where I want your emphasis to be, is right in those core muscles, right in the top of that rectus. Again, you're shooting for 50 of those. It's it gets to be tough right after those 50 jumping jacks that we just did this is a great way that we can kick on some serious core strength you've got just a couple left you guys are looking good 50 of them looks just like that money okay so now let's jump back up again we're gonna follow that up with more jumping jacks we're gonna intersperse a series of jumping jacks between each one of these kind of again strength training workouts or strength training exercises that we're doing and so now we're gonna gonna do 45 jumping jacks so we've done our 50 rep so now or our 50 set and so now let's jump into our 45 set and so again jumping jacks we're working hip abductors with this as you're jumping the legs apart you're working a lot of the deltoids with this as you're bringing the arms up and over your head uh, try to stay light on your toes try not to let your heels come in contact with the ground again our goal here is to get that heart rate up okay this is your at-home cardio workout again this thing is going to take about 20 to 30 minutes and so we're going to hit it hard and we're going to hit and we're going to hit it fast okay there's our 45 jumping jacks next we're going to get into 45 air squats I know that sounds like a lot, but I know that you guys can do it. Air squats is one of my favorite at-home body weight exercises that you can do. Works just a ton of muscles. And so you'll see here, my uh, my weight is back on my heels, okay? I don't want your weight to be out on your toes. And then I'm going to keep my knees right over my toes. So here's a good shot. So see, your weight is back on my heels. I could lift my toes up off of the ground in the bottom of that squat. A problem that I commonly see is people spend a ton of time just out on their, out on their toes. Their weight's on their toes during their squat. What that does is that just puts a lot of pressure on your knees, puts your knees way out over your toes, puts a ton of pressure on them, specifically that space in, in your in your knee joint itself. And so we're just trying to protect that a little bit. Okay, so you're going to drop down into this squat. Go just as low as you can go. Uh, try to get down to thighs parallel if you can. Um, try to keep your back straight. I tell people, you know, keep your chest up, keep your head high with this one. 
as you're dropping down into these air squats. Should be feeling this one in your quads. That's the muscle on the front of your thigh. Should also feel it in your glute group. And so the glute max especially are those hip extensors that are working in the squat motion. Okay. It's also a great exercise. I give this one to a lot of patients who complain of lower back, all the lower back pain. If you do it right, we're going to train the hips to be the movers and, and the kind of the big powerful movers whenever you're lifting, carrying objects, things like that, um, as opposed to shifting the, the emphasis to your lower back. And so great exercise overall. Okay, nice job, you guys. So there's your 45 um, rep set. And so now we're going to do 40 jumping jacks is our next one. Again, keeping the heart rate up, trying to get some great cardio going with this one. You guys should be feeling this one by now. If you don't fill it by now, you're for sure going to fill it on our next exercise. Um, again, so so uh, hitting, the, hitting the jumping jacks, light on the feet, leaping out to the side, and then reaching over the head while you're doing that. Again, this is your 40 jumping jack set. Looks good, just like that. Okay, next one, we're going to get into 40 jump lunges. I don't know why I ever did this to myself, but it's killer, especially after those squats. So the alternating jump lunges, okay? So we're going to start with the right leg forward. You leap into the air. While you leap into the air, you're going to bring your left leg forward. You're going to fall down into a lunge each time, okay? And so here, ideally, what I'd like to see is that your, your weight still kind of stays back on your heels. It's really hard to do with the jump lunge motion just because a lot of your emphasis is going to be kind of cushioned that impact and absorbing the uh, absorbing the shock no shame in taking a little break mid set you'll see that my legs were burning pretty good I had to take a little break and so absolutely you know take as many breaks as you need to with this okay the, the thing is is that you can't move on to your next set until you've completed all the reps in the first set look at that okay I've got another little break and let's rep out ten more so there's one two three four Six, seven, you can see me slowing down, eight, nine, ten, get it, very nice, okay. And so there's your 40 jump lunges. Again, that one's brutal, especially when we follow that up immediately after those squats, you guys, you're going to be filling that one. Again, take breaks if you need to, um, even if you need to go into just kind of an alternating step lunge, no shame in that at all. Whatever your skill is, whatever your capability is, the important part is that you're trying it out. The important part is that you're here, that you're doing it, that you're making these changes that you desire to see in yourself. Okay, cool. And so we're going to follow up the jump lunges. So now we're on our 35 rep um, exercises. So now we're going to do 35 jumping jacks. Again, just a great at-home cardio exercise. I love those jumping jacks. We're going to follow that up with 35 push-ups. Okay, now push-ups, uh, 35, it, it may be not a lot to you. It may be a ton to you. What we're going to do, so there's a couple different options. Okay, break it up into sets. So you could do, you know, three sets of 10 and then follow that up with a set of five. You'll see that here I'm out on my toes. You don't necessarily have to be out on your toes in that full push-up position. Maybe you're doing a modified push-up in on your knees. Um, the important part is, is that we're working on the strength. This is my favorite body weight exercise for your upper body. We're working a ton of chest. We're working a ton of shoulders. We're working a lot of the arms, the triceps with this one. Um, also, you know, you're kind of holding this plank position. And so my challenge is always to people, if you can suck in your stomach, you kind of activate that transverse abdominus muscle while you do that. Suck in your stomach while you're doing your push-ups. You kind of get a two bang for your buck there. You get a great core exercise while you're doing a great upper body exercise all right there they were so 35 push-ups okay next we're going to jump into our 30 rep set and so we're going to do um, 30 jumping jacks is the next exercise again the idea here is that we're kind of performing these these drop sets that we start high and that we finish low but golly, you're putting in a ton of work you're doing a lot of exercises by the end of this we're actually going to finish with sets of five and I promise those five are still going to be pretty brutal, you guys. You can do this. I know you can do it. Hang with me here. Again, we just finished our 35 push-ups. There's our 30 jumping jacks. And now this is another one. I don't know what I was thinking, you guys. 30 burpees is going to be your next one. And so, again, we've already done a ton of squats. We've already done a ton of push-ups. 
30 burpees this is brutal this is this one's just it's not fun you guys it's not fun but you know what it's totally totally worth it and i know that you can do it dig deep push hard burpees is just a great total body exercise if you want something that works literally every major muscle group in your body this burpee exercise is the way to do it and so what you're going to do is stand up drop your hands down to the ground leap your feet backwards um, you don't necessarily have to do the push-up in there if you're looking for even more of an upper body workout with the burpee go ahead and drop down into that push-up again if it's not a full push-up maybe it's just a modified push-up no shame in doing that whatever your capability level is you guys I want you to try to push yourself that was uh, apparently I just gave you a, a, a two fives there so so that was about 10 burpees um, again, we're going to go for 30 of them. And so again, if you've got to break it up into sets, absolutely do it. Okay. And so I am going to do three sets of 10 burpees here. And so again, standing upright, feet drop down to the mat, my feet um, then leap backwards. So I'm kind of in that tall plank position, drop down, chest down towards the ground, and then just repeat the, or excuse me, reverse those steps to get back into that upright position. So from that tall plank position, there's the push up, leap the feet back, and then when you come up, the full burpee is that you're actually gonna stand up, you're actually gonna leap, oh, about six inches in the air. You see that I'm getting tired. I don't think I'm getting six inches on that one, you guys. Um, but again, the important part is, is that you're here, that you're trying it out, that you're, that you're putting in the work. Okay, looks good. I don't even know. I haven't been counting my reps on this one. You guys been counting? Oh, we're struggling. There it is. I think that might be two sets of 10. I might just be going the distance. I might just be going for all 30 of them right here. Very nice, you guys. I know it's burning. Like I say, I mean, this is this is real. If you're anything like me, this is, this is as real as it gets. And so... Um, you know, again, 30 burpees after already putting in a ton of work. We've already done a ton of jumping jacks, some crunches, some squats, some of those alternating jump lunges, some push-ups, and now we're just finishing up with these 30 burpees. So I think that that was 10. I think this might be my third and final set of 10. Please don't judge me on the form on this. I know it's sloppy. I was pretty gassed on this one, I'm not gonna lie. This was, I'd already shot a couple of exercise videos, a couple other videos that you can find here on Tone and Titan before this. Probably wasn't the best idea, but you know what? I'm gonna grind this out just like you guys are gonna grind this out. I'm right there with you. I'm sweating, I'm struggling. I know that you are too, but you know what? We're gonna do it together. Let's get through it. Good, burpees. They're miserable, nobody likes burpees. You don't make friends with burpees, that's what people say. Very nice, okay, keep going you guys. Again, we're going for 30 of them. I've broken it up into three sets of 10. Gotta be just about done. I know you're struggling, I know you can do it. Stay strong. Again, if you don't do that full burpee, if you don't drop it down into that push-up, that's totally okay. You can even do like an alternating step burpee. Sometimes they call it a quiet burpee where you step one foot back and then the other foot back rather than leaping both back at the same time. And I've got great news. This is a great chance to catch your breath. This is kind of the halfway point in this workout. Well, I would argue that we're more than halfway done. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna repeat those same exercises in that same order. Again, just in that drop, drop rep format. And so now we're going to uh, we're going to start with our, our jumping jacks again. Um, we have did our 30 burpees, so now we're in our 25 rep set. And so look at this, guys. We're dwindling down. We're getting there. So we're in the 25 jumping jack set now. This is like a breath of fresh air. I remember thinking to myself, oh, man, I could I could do this all day. Please don't make me do another burpee. We're going to hit 25 jumping jacks. I know you guys can do it. Very nice. There you go. And then we're going to get back onto our back, knees bent, and then we're going to hit our 25 crunches. So again, knees are bent. You see my hands are reaching down towards my thighs. What you're going to do is you're going to engage the core, and then you're just going to slide your hands up towards your kneecaps. Try to keep your neck in as neutral a position as possible. The reason I kind of like this version of the crunch, oftentimes when people do these, I see people do them in the gym or people ask me about them at home. 
and they will uh, interlock their fingers back behind their head. What that does is you just kind of crank on your neck with that. If your chin is touching your chest, you're putting too much pressure on your neck while you're doing these crunches. And so I don't care if your hands are behind your head, just don't interlock your fingers. That's why, again, I kind of prefer that method. It's, it makes it maybe a little bit easier, but um, at the same time, we're protecting the neck and the head with that one. Okay, there's your 25 crunches. Let's get into our 20 rep set. So we're gonna hit 20 jumping jacks. Like I said, you guys, I know we're winding down. You guys are doing awesome. Keep it up, keep it up, stay strong. 20 jumping jacks. And then after this, we're gonna jump right into our 20 squats, our 20 air squats. So again, all my weights back on my heels. I'm gonna drop down as low as I can into that squat. Um, the goal would be to get down to thighs parallel. I don't think I'm quite gonna get that with this set. But again, you know, go at your own pace, do your own thing. The important part is, is that you're trying it out, you're putting in the work, you're doing all the effort that you can. Again, weights on the heels, my back straight, my head's up, my chest is high. I don't want you to look down at the mat while you're doing this. Try to keep your gaze fixed straight forward, if not even a little bit up. That will keep you in a little bit better posture while you're repping out these 20 air squats. Okay, very nice. Now we're gonna get into our 15 rep set. And so we're gonna do 15 of our jumping jacks. Again, should feel that heart beating on this one, you guys. My goal is to beat it right out of your chest. You should feel it thumping, sweat should be coming. Um, again, keep a water bottle close, take breaks if you need to, but we're gonna try to rep these out. 15 jump lunges. Again, why I put jump lunges right after the air squats. Your guess is as good as mine. You guys are gonna feel this, it's gonna be burning but I know that you can do it. I know that you can stay strong. Um, these jump lunges, if the jump lunge is too intense, again, just kind of an alternating step lunge is a great alternative with this one. Catch your break, <laughs> catch your break, catch your breath whenever you need to. Very nice. So there's 15 of the alternating jump, jump lunges. Can you guys feel the end? The end is getting so close. I know you can do it. 10 um, jumping jacks now and then we gotta get into 10 push-ups. Again, if you wanna go uh, the modified push-ups, it's gonna be the push-ups down on your knees. If you can get the full push-ups in, that's awesome. Let's, uh, let's try to do that. Again, chest is going all the way down to the ground and then you're pushing right back up using the shoulders, using the chest, using the arms. Just a great kind of total upper body, body weight exercise with that one. Okay, very nice, you guys. Great, great rep on that one. Great set on that one. We're going to get into just five jumping jacks, and then I've got fantastic news. All you've got to do is five burpees, and then you're done with it. I'm giving you the one more, one more exercise finger there. Okay, let's hit it. Burpees. And so you're going to leap back, leap forward, leap up. That's one. Down, up. There's two. Feet come down, jump back, push up, come back up three we got two more is all you guys you can do it stay strong one last one very nice okay there's your there's your workout you guys lift your hands pump them up triumphantly that's it hey i hope you guys enjoyed this one i enjoyed putting it together for you if you did like it go ahead and give me a thumbs up below if you did better than i did i would love to hear about it go ahead and leave your experience in a comment this is also a great chance to subscribe to Tone and Titan if you haven't done that yet. That top left box right there is a great place to do it. I share lots of great workouts, physical therapy advice, everything you need for health and fitness related items. So I hope you, I hope you subscribe to that. Until next time, we'll see you right back here on Tone and Titan.